Do you feel like you're left in the dark? Oh, we are left in the dark. Every last person in this neighborhood is left in the dark. For decades, emissions from oil and gas facilities have impacted communities of all types across Los Angeles, causing unbearable smells, headaches, nausea, respiratory problems, and cardiac complications. These health risks are often associated with exposure to oil and gas emissions. In some neighborhoods, however, these facilities are located directly next to schools, playgrounds, and hospitals, and to top it off, they've been poorly regulated. Different neighborhoods have different regulations. In places like upscale Beverly Hills, companies are required to take steps to minimize the impact of oil and gas development. But in other neighborhoods, often lower income communities, there is much less oversight. This is Lloyd. For 26 years, Lloyd has lived next to an oil field near Compton, and there has been little to no oversight of this facility. I had a whole wall full of ivy. In two weeks' time, all that ivy died off the side of the, uh, the fence there. Ivy doesn't die in, in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So something has to make that ivy die either in the soil or in the air. And that's the thing. You don't know because there's, there's no monitoring system. To me, it's like they don't care. According to some, not all companies keep their neighbors in the dark about pollution. This is Doug. An active oil well sits on his property just a few feet away from his house. But he says that in the neighborhood of Signal Hill, companies take common sense steps to be responsible neighbors. You are in really close proximity here to the oil. Yes, and yeah, we were very close. Uh, it's, um, actually, the oil well is on our property. The, the uh, shaft that goes down into the ground is actually on our property. The company that runs it does, goes above and beyond um, their obligation to keep us informed and keep the odors down and keep the site clean. And they, they run a clean operation. So you would say that they've been pretty good neighbors to you? Very good neighbors, yes. You've had such good luck. I've definitely spoken to other people who that is not their experience, who are living close to mm. a drill site. Okay. Um, why do you think that there's a, a difference? Well, it's a small town. This is Signal Hill. It's a smaller community. The numbers are posted on all the wells, and there's a 24-hour service uh, that answers the phones. Even though the companies operating on Doug's property have been good neighbors, he says he would still like to see real-time pollution monitoring. I think it wouldn't hurt to probably have a monitoring system in place, you know. I think the monitoring would be beneficial and probably give us all peace of mind, just, to, just so there's no pollutants or anything that would affect our health. What would you like to see if you could ask for one change? What would it be? Well, I mean, I'd love for the oil company to actually cooperate and maybe get in touch with the neighborhood and find out about the complaints, to find out what can they do, you know, to improve. That would just be the right thing to do.